Delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS. What causes it? What does it tell us about our training? Is it a sign that we're building muscle or that we have new muscle growth? When we work out, oftentimes we feel sore right after. Now this isn't DOMS. This is what they call acute muscle soreness. It's caused by lactic acid buildup in our muscles. Usually it's accompanied by swelling, which we like to call the pump. And many of us love that feeling. There's usually some stiffness that comes along with it, and this is related to the swelling. Lactic acid buildup is a part of metabolic stress, one of the three mechanisms we use to build muscle. Delayed onset muscle soreness is different. This type of soreness doesn't usually start to kick in until 12 to 24 hours after our workout and tends to peak in one to three days. Then it starts to subside. Now there was a time when it was thought that this soreness too was a result of lactic acid, but now it's clear that this isn't the reason. As any lactic acid buildup clears out within a few hours after training. They don't really know what causes DOMS, but there are certain movements that tend to bring it about more than others. These involve stretching, for example, the negative portion of the movement or the eccentric, and especially if you stretch the muscle in the eccentric position, like you would with Romanian deadlifts, chest flies, or incline curls. The theory is that the negative portion of the movement creates more muscle damage, which causes the swelling and soreness. Recovering from muscle damage is another way we build muscle, so you can start to see how some might equate muscle soreness to muscle growth. Now muscle soreness in general isn't that uncommon, and I'm of the opinion that if you never feel anything after your workout, you're probably not training hard enough. Delayed onset muscle soreness is a little different. People who tend to suffer from DOMS tend to be newer lifters, especially if they throw themselves into a new training program going 110% without taking the time to get used to the movements. Another group includes experienced lifters. When they first start to incorporate new exercises that they haven't done before in their training. It can take several months for the body to adapt to these changes in training and lifestyle. Despite the theories about what causes delayed onset muscle soreness, there doesn't seem to be a direct connection between DOMS and muscle growth, with some muscles rarely getting sore and yet still growing. People who train less frequently also tend to suffer more from DOMS, which contradicts what we know about the connection between higher frequency and volume of training to muscle growth. If you have trouble with muscle soreness, a couple of simple things you can do to help lessen the effects of a pre-workout is to make sure you're well hydrated and do a good warm-up before your workout. According to a 2013 study, applying heat right after exercising, and in particular moist heat, either through damp towels or a warm bath, reduce the discomfort of delayed onset muscle soreness. I bring this up because the more common treatment is to apply cold, with many athletes jumping into an ice bath to try and reduce the exact same effects. There's logic to both, as heat encourages blood flow, which promotes healing, and cold reduces inflammation. So you might want to experiment with both to see what works best for you. A massage will help to provide relief too. This can be accomplished with a foam roller. I found a study also that showed watermelon can help because it contains L-citrulline, and studies have suggested this amino acid reduces muscle soreness. So it's important we keep moving as this will encourage blood flow into the affected area, promoting healing. Now, if you're still significantly sore by your next workout, then make sure you avoid working the affected area or possibly just do a light mobility workout or some yoga. This way, we can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.